Hello my dear health seeker, Inga from Health Origins here. So today I've got a yummy multi-purpose recipe for you. So it's um, cookie dough truffles, um, also that can be made into cookies. So let's begin. So I'm on a roll with the dessert recipes, but why not? Um, so this recipe was inspired by one of um, the ladies at the baking club, Nikki. So thanks Nikki for the recipe, uh, but I'm trying to healthify this um, cookie dough truffle recipe just a little bit by uh, replacing vegan butter with um, nut butter. And in this case, it's peanut butter, but you could use other nut butters too. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need 115 grams of uh, nut butter. So this happens to be half a cup. So half a cup of butter. So I'm adding my peanut butter to a bowl. Then the next ingredient is 150 grams of brown sugar originally, but I'm um, using my coconut sugar in here instead. So 150 grams, you can use brown sugar too. Um, and then I'm also going to add my vanilla in here as well. Um, so one teaspoon of vanilla. And now I'm gonna whip this up with my handheld um, mixer. And actually, I think I'm gonna uh, get a taller jug because this is just making a mess. I'll get a taller glass jug so we can uh, blend uh, with, without things flying all over the place. So basically, the purpose of this is to cream sugar and butter together. This is obviously not blending quite like traditional butter or vegan butter in this instance. Um, you could probably even just mix it really well with a spatula. Um, so we are, what we're trying to aim, we're trying to aim for kind of uniform um, crumbs of sugar and butter. In fact, you could even go with your hands and kind of cream it through, try and, you know, making sure that it's all nicely kind of creamed up and incorporated there. So I have cleaned up a little bit um, and we're gonna be continuing with other ingredients. So it needs a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna add some salt to bring out that sweetness. Um, 170 grams of flour. So I'm using here a wholemeal fine flour or otherwise called pastry flour as well. So very finely grind, ground whole meal flour, whole wheat flour. Um, you could use obviously white flour if you wanted to, like original recipe states, but you know, I don't do this here on my channel. Try and make it as healthy and whole food as possible. So the flour, and then we've got 70 grams of dark chocolate chips. So my chips are quite small. If your chips are quite large, I would say chop them up, but mine should be fine. So 70 grams. Um, and then I've got some soy milk because I suspect that I might need to add a little bit of moisture. Um, Cause I think obviously butter, vegan butter, is much thinner than the nut butter is. So we'll see how well these, you know, can form into batter. If, if, it's, if it's too uh, crummy, if it's not sticking together, I'll add a couple of tablespoons of um, plant milk to it. So just mixing everything through. Right, so like I suspected, um, the batter, well, it's not really a batter, it's, it's too dry. So I'm gonna be adding um, a few tablespoons of um, soy milk. So I've freshly made the soy milk or just any other kind of plant milk would work. So I'll add maybe four tablespoons to start with. So now that's really come together nicely. I think we're ready to form our truffles. 
So like I said, we're gonna be making two dessert options. So we're gonna be making our truffles, so rolling into little balls and putting here. Um, so make sure whatever container um, you're gonna keep in the fridge, um, then line it with parchment paper so that once you you know put the balls on or once you have them dipped in chocolate so that they don't stick to the glass or to the plate um so yeah so parchment paper in there and also i've got my uh, baking tin with a silicon mat in here as well um where we're going to be making cookies so let's roll some of the uh, truffles first so take a good um, tablespoon of dough and then roll it in a ball, into a ball. You know, you can roll them into larger or smaller balls, but I think it's quite nice to have smaller balls, um, the more the pleasure, right? So, and then just place them on your parchment paper. So about a tablespoon at a time. Or you could even go smaller than that if you wanted. So I rolled a few truffles here, as you can see, cookie dough truffles, and I'm going to be putting uh, a lid on that and putting it in the fridge to firm up for an hour and then for 15 minutes into the freezer. Um, and then for the remaining um, butter, I'm going to be making them into cookies. So again, um, depends how big or small you want your cookies. I'm going to be making small cookies, about a tablespoon and a half, let's say. Um, so yeah, so just form the, the cookies you, you like. And this is much easier to form, actually, because it's um, the batter is very easily moldable. So yeah, so you can make either bigger or smaller cookies. And if you make these with, say, almond butter, you could also, instead of vanilla, you could put some almond essence and make them really kind of almondy um, cookies as well. So these are ready as well. Um, and now, just to make sure we made a good cookie dough, I need to taste test it. Mmm. It's pretty good. I can taste the peanut in there. Mm, yummy, definitely different from the one that had um, the one that I tried uh, that my, uh, my my friend Nikki made because that was proper like a cookie dough, obviously because it had vegan butter in it. This has got um, peanut butter instead, so it's slightly different dough, but um, I think it's still delicious. Mmm. We're gonna wait to see how it all turns out when we dip the truffles in the chocolate and when we bake the um, the cookies. So I'm gonna put these in a preheated oven on 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 minutes and we're gonna check on them. So the um, cookie dough cookies or peanut butter cookies, shall I say, have baked. So um, they're still warm, but I'm gonna give it a go. Oh my goodness, the chocolate is gooey. Um, so yeah, so they have some firmness um, at the top and I'll bake them for 20 minutes on 180 degrees Celsius in my fan oven. So it's a bit high, a higher temperature, about 190 really. Um, so yeah, so let's give them a go. Mmm. They're actually quite nice and crunchy, surprisingly. Yeah, yummy. They got a little bit of softness in the middle, but um, there's quite a bit of kind of crunch on the outside. Mmm. I, I really want to wait until they cool down so I can try, um, you know, again. But yeah, this is good. This is delicious. Um, so my truffles, my cookie dough truffles are still cooling down in my fridge. Um, once they do, I'll, you know, for about an hour, I'll put them in the freezer for about 15 minutes. And at that time I'll start 
also melting my chocolate. So what I'm going to use for melting my chocolate is kind of double boiler method because we don't um, you know, have microwaves or use microwaves. So to melt my chocolate, I've just got some water in my pot here, which I'm going to be obviously boiling. Then I've got my um, kind of metal sieve that sits and it doesn't touch the water. That's important part. The, the water should be below it, not touching it directly. And then I've got a glass bowl that I just sit on the steamer and all the, you know, steam is going to be slowly melting the chocolate. So when I put my um, truffles in the freezer for the last 15 minutes, that's when I'm going to start gently melting the dark chocolate. So I'm going to be using about 100 grams of dark chocolate. Um, the original recipe states 150, but I presume that's obviously for all the truffles to be coated. So if you're making them all into truffles, then um, do 150 grams um, of chocolate. But I'm just doing about 100 because I've already done some cookies and I've got less truffles to uh, roll into the chocolate. So the um, cookie dough balls have rested in the, um, the fridge for about two hours and a bit. I haven't put them in the freezer, but I think um, they're pretty okay. They're not, um, they're pretty solid. So I'm gonna just start dipping them in the chocolate. So I've melted the uh, dark chocolate over bain marie like I've explained. Double boiler method. And I'm gonna just place the balls on, on the lid so we could put the once we dip them, we can put them back on the parchment paper. So, so I think the little tip I was, um, I've seen in the recipe that um, Nikki put up was that she does it with the forks. I used to do it with um, spoons, uh, but she was saying she was doing it with the forks. So I'll give this a go. Maybe that wastes less chocolate. Um, so just drop a ball, roll it around, and fish it out. They're looking great. I can't wait for these to set and to try it. So because this is quite a thick chocolate that I've got, these will be covered in it quite gen um, gen generously. That's the word I'm looking for generously. Quite a lot of dark chocolate on them. But that's never a bad thing, is it? So 100 grams of chocolate just was about enough to cover 12 um, cookie dough truffles. So I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to put it in the um, fridge to set for about 15-20 minutes and then we're going to taste test them. So I have pulled all stops for you guys and I got yourself the professional taste tester mark. Hi. <laughs> professional might be pushing it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll do my best. So so yeah, so we've got the two um, cookie dough desserts I made to taste test. So I already tr taste tested the cookies myself, but we can do a second taste test. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if we want to we'll have that with chocolate button. Get the extra chocolate button. So yeah, so this is basically the same dough. One is baked and one is raw coated in chocolate and that's um, cookie dough, peanut butter, um, truffle. <laughs> so yeah, so sounds good. So okay. let's give this one a go. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Now, uh, it's um the chocolate. You can really get a sense of the chocolate. It's not like a you know kind of overly kind of sweet chocolate the, the kind of flavors melt together really quite nicely mm. but it's quite a sweet um cookie as cookies go i would say yeah, maybe i would actually reduce the um 
the amount of sugar next time because the chocolate gives that sweetness as well. It, it does, but to me anyway, I don't think it's overly sweet at all, actually. Well, Mark has a very sweet tooth. Well, then I have For it. me, these are a little bit dry. I would need a cup of tea with those. Mm. Yeah? Mm. A cup of tea, I think, with those, but they taste really good. And for obviously for for a cookie that doesn't have any uh, oil or vegan butter added, only just the, uh, the peanut butter I've added, that's pretty good, I think. Mm. So now choose yourself a truffle. I'll get the <laughs> not so nice looking one. Where's the biggest one? <laughs> no, I, there's a small one. No, I guess small because I just had uh, quite a big plate of food. Yeah. So, so this is the truffle. They haven't quite fully solidified. Um, I don't know, but um, but near enough. <laughs> I mm. think we need. I needed to leave it for about probably half an hour at least in the in the fridge. It's been about 15 minutes or so, but you know we'll we'll go for it, huh? It's good for a taste test. Yeah. Here mm. we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god. Now that doesn't lie. <laughs> you know that moment when you, you eat food and it just makes you smile inside? Mmm. My god. It, it's just the right consistency. It's kind of, it's moist, moist. but you have texture there, the, the chocolate kind of uh, breaks it, it, it it's almost got a slight snap to it um, once once oh. they obviously cure more the chocolate will be harder but you, mm. you do get that crunch I think yours like, is more set mine is mm. not but mm. wow it's delicious isn't it mm. so between the two that's definitely a winner isn't it yeah the but, truffles, the cookie oh. dough peanut butter truffles are definitely a winner, I think, for both of us. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Mm. Chocolatey thumbs. Thanks for the recipe, Nikki, by the way. Can mm. I have this? Mm? <laughs> Can I have this? <laughs> Mine. So... If you're new here, welcome to the channel and subscribe for more videos and shenanigans like this on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And remember guys, food is fuel. So be mindful <laughs> of what you put in the body. Until next time. Bye guys. <laughs>